Today I'm going to show how I remove the clutch slave cylinder, the countershaft sprocket cover, and how I reinstall it. Alright, the first thing I do is I like to get a like a regular wood clamp and I'm going to squeeze the clutch lever. What that's going to do is uh, put pressure on the clutch slave cylinder and when I remove that the piston in the clutch slave cylinder won't pop out. And I'll explain that more once we're down to that part. If you don't have a wood clamp, you can always use a zip tie or just something, even a piece of string if you want to, to tie that up. But uh, yeah, wood clamp's easy. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and uh, move our counter shaft sprocket, cover the uh, speed sensor, and the clutch slave cylinder. So we've got uh, three 8 millimeter screws up here. There's some wires in the way. You just got to kind of bend them up a little bit. Get those loosened up. One down here. This one here, the foot peg is kind of in the way, so I just get a 8 millimeter wrench. Get it broke loose. Okay, if we pop that off, loosen up your speed sensor. It's a four millimeter. Pop that off. And that just comes straight out. And you kind of tuck that in and out of the way. Okay. We'll pull these bolts off. Okay, next thing we'll do, we'll uh, remove the clutch slave cylinder. So we have the tension already with the clamp up on the clutch lever. So that's putting tension on the, on the clutch push rod inside of there. So when we pull this off, it's going to be a little tight, but it'll pop right off a five millimeter Allen. Break those off. Uh, do them even. Don't just pop one off. Do a little bit and a little bit. Until you feel it really loose and you can just pop them off. Okay, this top, top one here, there's a long spacer behind it and it'll it'll drop as it comes out usually. So you can just kind of wiggle it a little bit and slowly pull it out. I'm gonna pull these bolts out. And I'll show you the spacer. Here's a spacer behind the cover right there. I'll pull this off and show you. Okay, and this is the little spacer that drops. And that uh, goes pretty much right there on those threads. And my hand's probably in the way, but it goes right there. And this is your clutch, pu clutch push rod. And you can pull that out and you want to clean all this area up real good. 
clean the push rod. It's alright to pull this all the way out. Just don't keep this in while you're trying to clean so you don't get anything inside of the seal. Okay, well and that's how to remove everything. Um, see with the clutch lever pulled in, this won't pop out. This is the clutch slave cylinder piston in here. If you let off on that thing, this is going to slowly start sliding out and then eventually the piston will pop out Then all your brake fluid is going to go all over the place. Then you're going to spend another 20 minutes bleeding the, the uh, line. So, But you can do this in reverse also. You can leave the pressure off from the lever and uh, you can put a clamp or something around here too. But that's just more stuff in the way so I like to do it this way. Alright, so I've got my new chain and sprockets on there. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my countertop sprocket cover back on. So, same as uh, where we took it off. Going to make sure all your uh, wires are out of the way. Hopefully my knee's not blocking the camera here. Right, get the little rotating pins on there, get those lined up. See the wires aren't in the way. There you go. All right. And not too tight on these since the thing is plastic. So I'm going to them snug. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and put our speed sensor in there. Okay, now we can get our quad slave cylinder on. Alright, so we're going to get this thing lined up. We'll make sure we've got all the wires out of the way. Just kind of do a quick dry fit. Okay, that looks good. All right. So now when you're putting this on, what you want to do is take your top bolt, put it through top hole, put your your spacer on. 
Then we're going to slide this thing back. And make sure your rod's in the little hole. And we're going to get this snugged up. Same thing, you want to just kind of make these go in kind of even. But we're not going to tighten it up all the way yet. We're just going to get it snugged up. And once that's snugged up, I will take the clamp off from the uh, clutch lever. And then that will take the pressure off from that piston and then you can pop this in pretty easy. It won't, won't go in as tight. Alright, and that's it. It is done. We'll check our lever. Feels good. Alright, so that's uh, how we put those on.